This video is going to be about finding the least common multiple. And before we get going, remember the least common multiple, or LCM, is sometimes called the lowest common multiple or the lowest common denominator. So let's say you've got an addition problem with fractions like this. You've got 11 over 30 plus 2 over 105. And you want to find the number that you can turn both of the denominators into by multiplying them. In other words, we want to multiply 30 by something and 105 by probably something else and turn them both into the same number. So one way we saw that we could do this is we could write out a list of the multiples of 30. So this 1 times 30 is 30, and then 2 times 30 is 60, and 3 times it is 90, 4 times is 120, 5 times 30 is 150, and so on. And then we'll do the same thing for the 105. So there's 105, 2 times 105 is 210. And we're looking for a number that appears in both of these rows of numbers. And we haven't gotten there yet. So let's see, 3 times 105 is 315. Let's go up to the top row. Uh, 6 times 30 is 180. And then we have 210. And so 210, it looks like that's the number we're looking for. So that's going to be the denominator for both of these fractions so we can add them. Now, this way will work, but it can be kind of long and tedious. And if you make a mistake somewhere along the line, you may never find the number you're looking for. So here's another way you can do it. The two numbers we're dealing with are 30 and 105. And we're going to make something called a factor tree for each one of these. So we're going to take the 30 and see what numbers, what factors we can break it down into. In other words, what numbers multiplied together make 30? Well, I know that 30 is an even number. So if I multiplied it 2 times something else, I'd get a 30. And that'd be 2 times 15. And I want to see if I can break the 15 down. I know I can't break the 2 down anymore. So breaking the 15 down, that's going to be 3 and 5. And what that tells me is that 2 times 3 times 5, in other words, these three factors multiplied together would give me 30. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the 105. Well, I look at 105, and since it ends in 5, any number that ends in 5 could be divided by 5. So I'll have a 5, and when I divide 5 into 105, I'm going to get a 21. I can't divide 5 anymore, but 21 could be divided by 3. So that's going to give me a 3 and a 7. So that means that 5 times 3 times 7 is 105. So I'm going to write those numbers down too. And I'll, I'll just write them. You can write them in any order. I'm going to use the numerical order. In other words, I'll start with the lowest one, 3 times 5 times 7. So this number is the same as 30, 2 times 3 times 5. And this number is the same as 105, 3 times 5 times 7. And what I want to do is find a number, and this is going to be the least common multiple, that contains all of the numbers that are here, all the factors here, plus all of the factors here. Well, so let's take the factors that are here. I've got a 2 and a 3 and a 5. And now looking at the factors here, I've already got a 3, and I've got a 5, but I don't have a 7. So I want to add a 7 to this list. And if I multiply these four numbers together, what I'm going to get is 210, the same number I found before. But I don't have to make that long list. I just factor, I just factor each of these numbers down with a factor tree. So this is going to be my least common multiple or lowest common denominator. Let's go back to the original fractions. We had 11 over 30 plus 2 over 105. Now here's something else that's, that's nice about using this method. I want to turn both of these numbers, both of these numbers, into 210. Well, to turn 30 which is 2 times 3 times 5, 
into 210, I'd have to also multiply it by 7. So I'm going to use that 7 to make my fractional equivalent of 1, 7 over 7, and to turn 105 into 210. Remember, 105 is 3 times 5 times 7. So if I take the 3 times 5 times 7, it looks like I have to multiply it by a 2 to get to 210. So that means if I multiply this by 2 over 2, I will also be able to get the result, to get the 210 at the denominator. So let's do that. 7 times 11 is 77. 7 times 30 is 210. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 105 is 210. Now my denominators are the same, so I can add these together. 77 plus 4 is 81. I've got 81 over 210. And remember, you always want to check and see if you can uh, reduce this, which I can. I can divide both of these numbers by 3. So 3 into 81 is 27, and 3 into 210 is going to be 70. And I can't reduce it anymore, so this is going to be my answer. Okay, so let me review this. Take the two numbers that that, that you're starting with, that you want to find the lowest common denominator or the least common multiple for. Break each of the numbers down in a factor tree. In other words, we want to find the smallest numbers that are multiplied together to make that original number. Do the same thing over here. The smallest numbers that you can break, the smallest factors of 105, are this 5 and 3 and 7. Then, you're going to make a third number, your least common multiple, which is going to be a combination of all the factors in your first number and all the factors in your second number. You won't repeat any. So in other words, we had a 3 here and a 3 here. We only have a 3 one time. So we took the 2, the 3, and the 5 and used those in our least common multiple. Looking at the second number, we've already got a 3 and a 5, so we want the 7, so we add a 7 to it. Multiply these together, and we get our least common multiple. And then we use the information we have here to find out how to, what number to multiply each of the denominators by in order to get that least common multiple, or lowest common denominator. And then you've you're turning these into fractions with similar denominators, and you just add them together and simplify. Okay, so I want to do at least one more uh, for more practice, and so you can make sure you understand this. So uh, I'll stop this video now and just take a look at the follow-on video. See you soon.